Whether it be cruising along the coastline, jet skiing, parasailing or scuba diving, the warm waters of the Arabian Gulf surrounded by the stunning Dubai Marina skyline is an ideal location for all forms of aquatic adventure. Joining the list of water sports on offer in the country is free diving, an exhilarating experience of going underwater in one breath using just a diving mask and a pair of fins. If you were to ask uh, anyone on the road how long they could hold their breath, uh, most likely they'll say 45 seconds or a minute. Uh, what they don't know is that in a free diving course anywhere in the world, uh, they invest two days of their time and they can learn how to hold their breath for three minutes and how to dive up to 20 meters over the course of two days or even a day and a half. The concept of free diving holds cultural and historical significance to the region. Prior to the oil boom and mass economic development, the pearling industry dominated the regional trade due to the presence of the finest pearls underwater. Ismail, who is 95 years of age and holds 40 years of free diving experience, was among those divers who sometimes dove as deep as 40 meters in search of oyster pearls. Life was very simple back then, with a lot of hard work. We did not have any of the big industries like we do now. Those days, it was all about diving for the pearls and we used to go on trips that lasted more than two months. We were paid 50 rupees each in advance, which fed our families during our times away. Upon our return, we used to earn thousands of rupees in exchange for the pearls, sometimes even 100,000 which was shared equally among all of us. It used to be around 35 to 40 of us on the trips. Each time, there were four to five divers in the sea with others keeping an eye on them. We would dive into the waters for three to four times, sometimes even five, and bring back around 10 pearls each. Proud of his skills and expertise, Ismail still holds the simple equipment to maintain the memories of his profession. This is what we wore to protect ourselves from jellyfish, just a simple cotton cloth. This was my tool for opening the oyster shells. We also tied the rocks to our feet to use them as weights to help us go down. I know these days people go underwater wearing cylinders, but it's about experience. I could go down as deep as 35 meters in a single breath and bring back around 10 pearls. Our waters are also good for fishing. I know these days people use spear guns to fish, but that way you can only catch one. But with our traditional way of placing a box trap at the bottom caught way too many. Learning to dive as deep as you can in one single breath is definitely a thrilling experience. It's definitely a great way to explore Dubai and discover its hidden treasures. There's too many things hidden offshore. Too many things. I'd say Dubai has more, more, uh, more offshore than onshore, if you were to ask me. Uh, we have, I don't, I mean, I can't think of any other country that has as many wrecks uh, as we do. So it's like diver's paradise uh, over here. And the good thing is that the majority of the dive sites in the Arabian Gulf are very shallow. As free diving holds a long-term connection to the Emirati heritage, it will be provided a dedicated platform during Dubai's Extreme Sports Expo, which will be held in October this year. Why we had to do uh, an, an area dedicated to free diving, obviously being uh, uh, in the Marat and free diving being such a popular sport, uh, given the, the historical background behind it, the pearl divers, uh, it's been, it's been, it is the, the, you know, you could say one of the traditional sports of the UAE. So uh, it only made sense to, to give it its, its respect and to give it uh, its, its own section in the expo, given its popularity. Although free diving may seem terrifying at the start, the technique isn't too difficult to grasp. It can certainly earn the diver some bragging rights, together with an opportunity to explore the underwater wonders. Abdul Karim, UA Weekly.